Chris Slagle down at the fitness center, certified personal trainer with your latest fit tip. Today we're going to discuss kettlebell swings. The first thing you want to do is start with a lightweight kettlebell until you get comfortable and can move on to a heavier weight. To begin, set your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart and take an overhand grip on the kettlebell. Keep your back tight, your chest up, as well as your eyes up and generate force from your legs and hips to drive the bell into the air. Once it's in the air, stop the bell before it's straight overhead and as you come down, use your inner thighs to stop the bell and take advantage of the momentum created to generate enough force for your second rep. Continue in this manner until you've hit 10 to 12 reps and I would recommend doing three sets of 10 to 12 reps. An additional thing you'll want to think about is the fact that you don't want your shoulders to be doing much if any of the work in this movement. All of the force should be generated from your legs and hips. So if you see the bell facing downwards rather than swinging naturally with your arm and you feel that burn in your shoulder, you'll know that you're doing it incorrectly.